no homo. We she slipping on semen. <laughs> we was jerking off in the uh, bathroom. I've been drawing more sick and twisted creations. It's caterpillar. You look just like my son. I am. I, <laughs> that's so silly. I would imagine that. The girl from evening my goes walk Jojo no kimio na bouke Eyes of heaven Jojo no kimio na bouke Eyes of heaven Jojo no kimio na bouke Money don't jiggle jiggle I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure It makes me wanna dribble dribble You know, ride it in my fear Gortober tip for traditional art Use printer paper and markers for blood splats. Drip. Q is for quiet. I love quiet. I wish it were quiet all the time. You know, you'd wear earplugs at a show, and sometimes I would wish I could just keep my earplugs. myself with a hot iron once I'm into BDSM don't judge me I'm not cute ドゥンアドゥンアドゥンドゥンドゥンポンパドールの男子が好きですだいたいこういう人は受けですワンワンワンワンワンワンドゥン
Hi everybody, it's me, Mickey Mouse. What does she know? Say, go away, I'm not a guy. Hi, I'm not a toy. No mama, I'm so sad. I'm so sorry. You're the one. That's right, you're the one. You wanna come on? I'll miss you. Tìm em giữa phố xa, kiếm đâu ra cuộc tình giờ hơi giờ hồn được khắp đông đa. Bố con kia nhìn anh giật mình vì tưởng là thấy bóng ma. Có khi anh từ bán đi la vì nghe em không về nhà. Naruto Bakko. Sasuke tâm minh Từ ngày em ra đi anh bị Rasengan bật tim Sakura 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 Mai o chiru Sotsugyo o omede to Saigo ni So itta ki ga shita Bokura no shikan Here's how to draw an anime face. So go ahead and draw a cat face and then erase the details and using the cat as a guideline, go ahead and draw in the eyes, nose, and the mouth. Here I'm just sketching out the shape of the face. With the face done, go ahead and sketch the hair. You now have a cat again. draw traditionally for class but I'm going to cheat the system BOGO SPINTED LIGHTBOX GO BRRR TRACY TRACE oh right I have to color this who needs backgrounds so overrated who oh, won't you stay They say love is clear to see, but darling, stay with me. Sakura, 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 my Ochiru. Sotsugyo, omedetou. 最後にそう言った気がした僕らの時間おめどなく思いあふれ Digital artist draws traditionally. Sketchy sketch. Help, I can't zoom in. Pain, suffering even. And do button looking real sexy are in. My smooth brain used. The wrong color on his vest. Marker dried out. Disgusting zero tense. I'm never leaving you a Hello, a lot of people have been requesting that I do a body and anatomy tutorial, so here we go. The first thing you're going to want to do is decide whether or not your character is a circle or a square. This is not restricted to any kind of gender whatsoever, it's just based on personality, and it could be a combination of things. So um, the first thing I like to do is get at the general shapes and then draw a face over the shapes, so I, you know, I know where that is, because uh, sometimes I forget. And then I also like to, after the shapes, just go straight in, just for muscles and arm definition, I guess. And so that's, that's how I would do that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple, um, but the thing with the shapes is you want to make them all look different. So hopefully this helps a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. We were playing in the sand, and you 
found a little band. You told me you fell in love with it, hadn't gone as I planned. When you had to bid a tune, said you'd never love anew. I wondered if I could hold it and fall in love with it too. You told me to buy a pony, but all I wanted was you. Alright, here's a hotter way to draw side view characters. First draw a circle, then draw this triangle shape thing. At the end of that shape is where the ear is. You see that sharp chin? Draw a diagonal line like this. This shows you where the tip of the nose is. Nothing is allowed to exceed that line. Not even the juicy lips. For the eyes, draw a triangle with an eyelash. Give it a little wing at the top, you know, yassify it as much as you want. Then draw the bushy eyebrows. And then the neck. Alright, by this time we should erase the guidelines so we can see his hot face more clearly. Then just draw the ears. Alright, be right back, just gonna draw the hair. Y ya sé, aún no termino el anterior, pero es que quería uno para marcadores. Y en la primera página decidí dibujarme, pues, a mí, a mi gatita y a mi conejito. Te extraño todos los días. En cuanto al coloreado, por fin me pude comprar los copy. Y sí, mucha gente me criticaba porque utilizaba otros colores para hacer la piel, como verde claro. Pero pues lo siento mucho, no tenía colores piel, perdón. Referente al dibujo, es de las pocas veces que me dibujo a mí misma, pero lo tomé como un reto para que en la última página me vuelva a dibujar y vea el cambio que he tenido. Y no lo había dicho por aquí, pero muchas gracias, ya somos Yenka. <ríe> oh, no puedo creerlo, en serio, los quiero mucho. Hi, I have a lot of people asking for a tutorial on how I draw food, so here it is. I have a Pinterest board that I look through for references. And I chose toast because it was easier. I start out with a rough outline of the shapes and fill in like the lightest colors like the eggs and the bread. I use the blue to sort of add like a bit of shadow and like outline to some of the shapes. I use the orange to add more detail to stuff like the bread and the egg just to give it a bit more shading. I fill in the avocado with yellow and go over it with blue to make it sort of look like green and go over it again with yellow. And then I go in again with a darker orange to add more detail and same with the blue. This is sort of a pat explanation, but yeah. <laughs>
This is day one of me trying to paint my boyfriend using techniques I learned in Italy. I have not had a chance to work with a live model for about a year now, so my camera shy boyfriend graciously agreed to sit for me. During my workshop in Florence last year, we learned something called the sight size method, where you place your canvas right up against your subject and paint from a distance. Here I'm using a plumb line or a string to map out the proportions, and my main goal for today is really just to get the canvas covered and the general tones down. And I'm also adding in not necessarily the facial features like eyes, nose, lips, but I'm more so paying attention to where the shadows meet the light. I personally love painting sight size because I feel like it really forces you to take in the bigger picture and not get too caught up in the details. And at the end of the day, we are going to scrape off all of our hard work. And we're also going to make sure to soften all of our hard edges because we are not going to get everything right on the first try. And after hours of painting, our eyes are going to get tired and not see things properly. So scraping and smoothing everything out leaving just the impression of the painting underneath is just going to give us a great foundation to work on tomorrow when we come back with fresh eyes. And yes, it's the only thing that I'm going to use for drawing and a bit of correction tape for my mistakes. Anyway, I'm doing this para ma practice ko yung confidence ko in lines, especially during my sketching phase. Kasi I tend to do it with many strokes. Eh, parang that shows my unsureness, ganon. Anyway, for story time, I'm pretty sure guys sa inyo, mayroong mga nagsuschool. As for me kasi, college na ako. And honestly, ang daming gawain. Nawawalan ako ng me time. Kaya naman kung masisingit ko yung horoscope for myself and my hobbies, need ko talaga pagpuyatan. Pero the issue with that is maaga yung paso ko, so need ko gumising ng maaga. So ang ending in order for me to be able to do my hobbies, I have to sacrifice my sleep. I always end up sleeping for like 4 hours or 5 hours lang, ganon. Siyempre, glad naman ako na nag-aaral ako. It's a privilege and I'm very thankful. But at the same time, it's very tiring. And it makes me drift away from the things that I actually like doing. Hopefully, it will all be worth it someday. But for now... Okay, let's draw Hobie. I start off with some quick construction lines to get his features right. Using the fine point of my pen before filling it all in with the brush tip and detailing with my four color ballpoint pen only using black and blue here though then white gel for highlights and piercing some white prismacolor to bring out my light areas a bit more and then finishing off his hair with some glue don't forget to dot your eyes all right now let's draw his voice actor Daniel Kalia, keeping the process the same, but now in my more realistic style. I decide to be a little more reserved with his color palette and stick mostly to pink. With blue ballpoint for most of the detailing at first, but I do use the blue marker to get a nice purple shadow color. Some white is my color for lighting, and white gel for my highlight. But I wanted more contrast and took it a step further with a black gel pen too. I think it worked out great. Then we finish him off by dotting the eyes and filling in our background. Don't forget to like and follow if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next one. We've been having really good drawing and painting weather here in LA. There was even a hailstorm yesterday. So I decided to light a candle and make myself a cup of coffee and do some flash art. I am following the broken puppet tutorial for some traditional rose flash. I did not know that there were so many different styles and variations on the rose in this style. So it's very cool to learn that. Um, I like to work in mechanical pencil. I have a tendency ever since I was a kid to press way too hard with my pencil. Um, and that can cause all kinds of problems when you're drawing. I, yes, I have always been an anxious person. So that's something I'm constantly working on. The mechanical pencil helps with that because you can't press too hard with those. They will break. Um, and then for lining, I like to use a Micron. I use an 05. I really like it because it holds up well to the eraser. You probably want to go over it again if you like a really strong black, but it stays nicely. And best of all, it does not bleed when you work with watercolor over it. 
so it's a huge bonus for me. Um, I think I like the second rose the best, and the fourth one. The fourth one came out kind of squatty, I feel like, but I'm still happy with it. I feel like I did pretty good overall for my first time doing these. Uh, I'm going to make a part two where I paint them, maybe use some marker as well. Uh, we'll see, it just depends. And um, I'll also tell you then what kind of paints I like to use and about these really great black markers that I like for doing the final outline because I really like for them to have a nice, bold, deep black outline for this American traditional style. And let me know which rose you guys like the best and stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching. Also, if you hear birds in the background, they're going crazy. We have a bird feeder at the window I'm next to and they are taking shelter from the rain and talking a lot. <laughs>